Hey everyone, welcome to this training video about finding and running the commands in PowerShell. In this video, I will discuss about several strategies that you can apply to find and run the commands more efficiently and save a lot of time for yourself. My name is Navneet Kumar and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In the previous video, we discussed about the syntax of PowerShell, which is English like syntax using verb, hyphen, noun, and this noun is singular, then a space, then the parameter name, space, the value for that parameter. If you notice the commands below, so they are using the same pattern. The first keyword is the verb, which is an action to either to either to retrieve something or to start stop or suspend there are lots of verbs in powershell there is a command get verb that we can use and we can see these verbs over here next we will talk about finding and running the commands in powershell let me launch the console to run the commands interactively on this machine to manage in finding and running the commands, the first command we will use is get command. This command is actually used to list the available commands or functions on a system. You will notice that this system has hundreds or thousands of commands. If I do a measure object, So I see that there are 2,298 commands and these commands will vary computer to computer depending on the binaries installed or the roles, features, applications and packages installed on those machines. So finding a command that you need to automate a particular task can be a challenging job. So we can make it easy by finding the command by verb or noun or by their name or by their parameters, by their modules. So we can use these categories to filter out the commands that we are looking for. Let us get started with verb. When I say get command, verb by verb, I want to search these commands. And this verb is let's say start. So it displays all the commands that start with a verb called start. If I want to get the commands by a verb stop. So these are all the commands with the verb stop. If I want to list all the verbs that are there in PowerShell. So these are the 98 verbs in Windows PowerShell. If I want to find out a command with the verb, let's say use. So these are the commands. In this command, this is verb, then there is a dash or hyphen and then the noun. This is the noun in this command. I can also get the command by the noun and this noun is transaction. This time you will notice that there are many commands related to this noun and if I want I can use the wild cards if I'm not sure about a noun because noun is a naming word and it can be anything. So verb can be limited like we have 98 verbs already. So you can be sure about that what verb you're looking for but noun can be challenging. So you can use the wild cards. I don't care whatever is before T and whatever is after N. In this case I got more commands over here in the results. This time I got DTC transaction because I do not care whatever is before in this case. So I got all those DTC related commands. In fact, DTC diagnostics 
as well. This white card that I used was star. That means it can accept any sequence of characters. Number of characters are not limited. But if you want to limit the number of characters, then you can use the another regular expression, which is question mark. If I have given these three question marks, then that means that I do not care for the first three characters before T. These can be any three characters, okay, but only three, which means that DTC diagnostics will not be listed this time because these are more than three characters before T. So if I hit enter this time, I see the commands get DTC transaction only the command with three letters, any letter before T. So there can be different ways of using these wildcards. Suppose I want to look for the commands related to DTC, then I do not care whatever is after C and then transaction and then star. I don't care after that. So I got more results over here this time. So this is how you can leverage the wildcards or also referred as regular expressions to define the pattern of data that you're looking for the commands. Now, once you know a command like set DTC transaction, you can get this command by the name as well. Now you might have a question when I already know the command name, then when, why will I do get command? So the answer is that I need more details about that command, the version number of it, uh, the version it supports, the source, the module, the package that it is uh, stored in. So this is the module name. I also can get the command by the modules. So this time my parameter will be module. I will name the module that I want to look the command from and then hit enter. This module has all these commands. I can do a measure to see what commands are there in that particular module. In fact, from there, I can filter them by the noun also. Suppose noun I say DTC or the verb if I want. So I can specify that as well. Let's say the verb is start or install or anything. If I have multiple uh, results, then I can filter them by using the verb or noun. Now the next option is to find the commands by their parameters. These keywords with hyphen you see in the commands are parameters. Suppose I run a command, get process, computer name and this local computer. I get the process from this local machine. In fact, all the processes. But it is not necessary that this computer name parameter will be available in all the commands. It will only be available for the commands that support the remote computer systems to query. Suppose I want to start a process. There I don't have computer name. If I hit tab, there is no result. That means the command does not have the computer name parameter in it. If I want to find out all the commands with computer name parameter, I can do get command by parameter name this time. And this parameter name is computer name. All the commands that have been listed have computer name in them. You can take any of the command from here. You will see all the commands have computer name parameter. This is how we can find the commands in PowerShell using get command 